the next thing I'm going to kind of move on to is I don't know if kind of like me, um, you find scheduling meetings can be quite frustrating. So quite often, if you've if you've perhaps um, you've got an email thread going on with a uh, a customer or a supplier or somebody you know in somebody internal and you're just trying to schedule a day and you've got emails peeing backwards and forwards are you available this day um no but i can do this time but i can't do that time and you know that that whole kind of email tennis that goes backwards and forwards um just isn't very productive sometimes so there's there's some ways that we can tackle that with outlook these days that makes just life much much easier so um the first way of doing this is when we go to create a new email or within the thread of an email and um, if you go to so again so if i go to send an email through to myself and you know subject to a meeting i can insert my calendar so if i'm and i can do this at any point during the message but if I go to insert my calendar, I can send my calendar availability either for today, tomorrow, the next seven days, next 30 days or all of my calendar um, to somebody so that they can see where I've got available slots. So if I, in this case, share my calendar for the next seven days, I'm only going to choose to show my availability because I don't want them to necessarily see the full details or limited details um, of what's actually in my calendar. And I can just click OK, and that's now going to insert, you know, days and times over the next seven days of when I'm free. So it just helps save a bit of that kind of email backwards and forwards um, in terms of scheduling appointments. So yeah, quite simply on, a, on an email message, click on insert, click on your calendar um, and, you know, away you go with that. The other option that we've got now um is also so if i've got uh, perhaps an email here um is a new feature called scheduling polls um now these are really good if you're trying to organize meetings with lots of different people so perhaps you're trying to get your team together they're working on different locations or you know you might have different third parties involved um what you can do here is is actually reply with a scheduling poll so I can, this now gives me the ability to look at my calendar so I can set the time zone. So in this case, I'm going to say I'm in Sheffield. And I can go, um, you know, pick the date and time off the back of that and I can select what dates that I'm available. So perhaps these are the dates and times that I want to offer um, to this person or the, this group of people. And, and if I just click next, I can automatically add a um, make it a Teams meeting. I can set a location. So if this is perhaps going to be in the boardroom or it's going to be in Chesterfield or it's going to be in London or wherever it may be, I can set the location there. And I can also set my poll settings. So um, by default, these are the options that are ticked. So what this first option is going to do is it's going to schedule automatically the meeting so even though i've selected perhaps half a dozen times there across the um, across um, across the various items this will automatically schedule the meeting where the consensus of people um will you know have have voted for for the meeting at that time if they all agree to multiple options so perhaps everybody can do 12 30 and they can all do 2 30 by default it will go to the earliest option that's been scheduled so again it's just you know it's going to do this automatically for you and um, it's going to notify you of any kind of poll updates as they come through it's going to hold the times that you've selected in your calendar until it's scheduled as well so you know we've effectively got those times penciled in so they can't be overbooked again something that happens quite often um you know I, i've got multiple people that have access to my calendar and they're you know, perhaps all fighting over different times in terms of scheduling meetings so you know sometimes you know one person goes and books a meeting at 10 o'clock and you know somebody else in the team has organized a 10 o'clock meeting with with a different client so using these kind of poll options really kind of helps um, negate those issues so we can then quickly create that poll um, and send that off and that will give that the, you know, the ability for people to kind of vote for that so um, poll up you know scheduling polls um, are you know 
uh, hopefully you can see a, a real nice feature um, in terms of doing that. 